I wasn't too familiar with the preacher past the name. I've seen a few issues floating around the net, but it never held my attention. But the promo trailer did. Afterward, I talked to my brother and fellow leaguer, who is an expert on all things cool I am not. And he educated me on the character and why I should not only watch Preacher, but also cover it on the channel. So without further need of an origin story to how I was introduced to this property, welcome to the Justice League and let's get to it. Okay, before we start, to anyone like myself unfamiliar with what Preacher is about, I'll give you a little rundown. In this story, our main character is Jesse Custer, who is a preacher of a small town named Anvil, Texas. He gets possessed by a being named Genesis who is composed of pure good and pure evil. In the comics, this event destroys his church and kills his entire congregation, and this sets Custer on a cross-country search for God. Now regarding the show, it looks like they're probably going to flip this concept, and the majority of the season will take place in Anvil, I'm guessing. Okay, on to my top four favorite scenes or water cooler moments, and be careful for spoilers if you have not seen the episode yet. Alright, let's get to it. Number four, slow descent into madness. I like the conversation between the preacher and the kid and how it goes from this general conversation into this real plan for the preacher to hurt the kid's father for abusing his mom. I found myself sitting there like, wait, is he serious? And then it snaps back into just all the chill. He's like, well, you know, I'll see what I can do about your dad. That scene really set the tone for me for the rest of the show. It has very good pacing and switch from light to dark humorous to very serious tones so that's my number four number three throw down on the plane another scene where the tone starts off light and goes super dark i knew the minute that i saw joe gilgan that this was gonna be a fun and funny scene some of you might know him as rudy from misfits which was an original superhero tv show that came out a few years ago in this, he plays a character named Cassidy. The scene starts off, he's cracking everybody up, he's the bartender, and the next minute, he's laying down the freshest of murder, and he looks to be some sort of vampire. And those guys look to be hunters. Now, I don't know if he was hunting them or if they were hunting him, but I did like it. I also like the Mary Poppins reference at the end of the scene. I thought it was pretty funny. Number two, Kumite in the cornfield. I really, really like this show's pacing and water cooler-like moments. It seems like it's going to be full of them. So if we can just keep that up, I think we're going to be okay for the rest of the season. But here's another fight. In summary, it's a runaway car in a cornfield with two people fighting all over the car, front seat and back seat, while it drives out of control. This is a very crazy scene. The fight looks like it's between some guy and Tulip O'Hare, which is a character from the comics. You might recognize her as well. The actress is Ruth Nega. She was also in Misfits, and she played Raina in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. But this was a very, very cool scene. And then I like how at the end, the tone switches again. So she gets out the car, she kills the guy, and then the camera pans out and it's two kids standing here. I thought that was hilarious. I laughed so hard on that part. Side note, real quick. DC, you should really take some cues from your TV show properties and learn how to balance humor in your movies. It is possible to have a serious tone and make people laugh. The two things do not have to be mutually exclusive. Okay, getting back to the work now. I just had to say that. Number one, or what? No brilliant shifts in tone or jokes. Just a good old fashioned one man army ass whooping a bad assery happening here, people. Basically, the conversation that took place in my number four moment comes full circle and the preacher does some of those bad things to the kid's dad that he spoke about. We all know the lesson about judging book covers and whatnot. So yeah, just don't do it. Everybody, you're ready to hear that sound? All in all, the show has my attention. I might even check out some of the comics to get a better understanding of the characters. I thought the first episode was pretty damn good. 
And if you're a fan of shows like Supernatural or even Constantine, I think you'll like this one too if you're not already watching it. I'm going to be doing these breakdowns every week if possible. So yes, Preacher Episode 1, League Approved. Okay guys, with that, I'm going to bring this video to a close. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, if you like what you are seeing, please subscribe, please thumbs up, and please share. One or all of those things are greatly appreciated. If you want to check out some of my previous videos, you can take a look at my Legends of Tomorrow Season 1 synopsis. I just put that up. Or you can check out my Supergirl Season 1 synopsis that I put up about a month ago. If you're interested in Supergirl coming to the CW and you want to get caught up on it. So, what did you guys think about the first episode of Preacher? What was your favorite moments? People that may have read the comic book, what are some characters or moments that I should look out for? Let's talk about it in the comment section. And to next video, peace.